Welcome back to the channel. Now it's time for loading Cisco Layer 2 and Layer 3 switch ISs into EVNG for practicing your advanced switching lab, like inter VLAN routing, switch virtual interface, GLBP, VRRP, HSRP, access control list, and many more configuration. But keep watching previous two video for EVNG installation and configuration in routing lab implementation. For better understanding, I will implement the VLAN and VTP configuration for the small organization in EVNG. And let's not take up more of your time and let's go for the implementation. In this video, we will cover first, which Cisco switch model are supported in AVNG? Second, from where to download its legal and licensed irises? Third, how to upload them in AVNG? And last, how to configure the first lab for VLAN and VDP for better understanding. Before we diving into adding irises into EVNG, let's quickly review which Cisco models are supported by EVNG. Cisco Catalyst 2950 used for learning basic switching concept, 2960 for smaller network enterprise, and 3560 used supporting layer 3 functionality and layer 2 switching, and 3750 a more advanced model with a stackwise technology and 65,000 high and enterprise grade switch and Cisco Nexus 1000V used for virtualized switch in data center. Keep in mind that EVNG also support virtual switches such as Cisco CSR 1000E for more advanced routing and switching lab. RAR, now let's download the Cisco switch ISS from where I have shared the link in the video description. You can just simply copy and paste it in the browser. Open your browser and copy the link from the video description. Right here, paste it in the browser. Here, click on the download option and right here, click on download anyway. You can see that we have successfully downloaded the ISS for switches. And as you can see, this is in zip file. Let's extract it in the desktop. And we should export all these files into EVNG specific folder. Here, we have already completed 50% of the work. Now let's load the downloaded ISS into EVNG. Now let's run the WinSCP for connecting to the EVNG as a FTP. So right here, enter the EVNG IP address and default username root and default password EVE and click on login right from here select the slash root folder and now it's time to find a specific folder open the opt folder right here open the unit lab folder and right here click on add-ons and right here click on il folder and open the bin folder and from the computer side, let's find out the folder that we have extracted, the Cisco switch ISS. And from here, copy all these files and drag, drop them in the right side of EVNG section. And wait to fully copy all these files into EVNG. As you can see that our images have been successfully uploaded into EVNG. Now it's time to implement some permission command configuration into EVNG. Let's open the VMware and from here 
enter the root username and password as i said default username is root and default password is eve after we have successfully get login let's open that exact folder and make sure that all files are uploaded successfully yes all the files you can see are uploaded now it's time to implement the permission command configuration you can copy this command from the video description and paste it into your evng command line and press enter as you can see the command have been successfully implemented without error keep in mind that in in this list of files find the iourc file or txt file open it make sure this name is similar with your evng computer name hey mr configuration now it's your time to do the simple configuration for understanding the vlan and vtp to check our lab is working fine or not so why not open the browser and type the evng ip address and right here enter the default evng web browser access admin and default password eve and click on sign in right here as you can see these are the list of pre-configured lab and now let's click on this add new lab and right here enter the name in lab description and click on save and now it's time to add our switches click on the main screen and click on add notes and drag down the list and find out the cisco iol iol section right from here find out and select this image and from the icon section select layer 3 switch icon and enter a name for the switch main switch and click on save so we have added our main switch now let's add uh, three other switches click on the main screen select add node and from the list find cisco iol section from the image section find out and select this image and enter three number of node and enter a name of switch and from the icon list find out the layer 2 switch icon and click on save and now let's connect all the switches each together with the main switch and as you can see we have successfully connected all the switches let's select all of them and click on start to start all the switches at the same time and now let's run main switch cli or command line double click on it and right here click on this option you can see we have successfully connected with the main switch command line right here i have write all the configuration command in the notepad and you can download it from the link from the video description let me explain this command and you can just copy and paste it now it's the configuration for main switch the first section shows the enter into the configuration mode and enter a name the second pad shows vtp configuration in the third section showing adding two vlans with their names in the fourth section shows configuring interface as a trunk port and lastly we can copying the configuration into the cisco memory and now let's copy all the configurations step by step into the main switch command line
boom we have done with the main switch now let's paste all the switch to related configuration double click on switch to and click open ssh as you can see these are the switch to configuration let's copy all of them at the same time and paste it into the command line boom we have done with switch 2 and now let's open or connect with the switch 3 command line and as you can see this is a switch 3 configuration let's copy all this configuration and paste it in switch 3 command line boom we have successfully done the switch 3 configuration now it's time to connect the last and fourth switch let's double click on it and open this option and connect with the cli and from the notepad copy all this configuration and paste it in the switch 4 command line boom we have also completed a switch 4 configuration now it's time to check the command that we have implemented the vlan and vtp have been configured successfully or not let's first check the main switch command line and check the vlan configuration with the show vlan brief you can see that two vlan have been created with vlan 10 and 20 and now let's check the vtp status with the show vtp status as you can see the vtp domain is vodantec and vtp operation mode is server and you can see the vlan and configuration revision number so we have done with the main switch and all the configuration have been implemented successfully now it's time to go and check the switch to or these other switch are receiving the vlan configuration from the main switch or vtp server or not let's check them out open the switch to cli and type show vlan brief as you can see that both VLAN have been received by switch 2. It means that we have successfully configured all the command. Also, let's check the VTP status. As you can see, the VTP domain is Vodantec and VTP operation mode is client and with configuration revision number and number of VLAN. Now it's time to check the configuration with switch 3. As you can see that both VLAN have been received by switch 3. And let's check the VTP status. As you can see the VTP domain is Vodantec and VTP operation mode is client. And this switch also receiving the same VLAN from the VTP server switch. Let's do the same command check for switch 4. Boom, you can see that switch 4 also have been configured successfully. We have done the VTP and VLAN configuration for this lab. Thank you so much for being with me till now. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video for supporting me to prepare more advanced videos like this.